Hi, I'm Anna, and I am here with my favorite six-year-old, Olivia Bray. Hi, Olivia. Hi. Olivia is a star in her own right. She's already been published in Create With Me by Stampington. And look it, she has her very own project. What's it called? Purple Olivia. Purple Bear. Purple Bear, okay. And I'm so excited that I've asked Olivia to join me today to make Play-Doh. Jam! So why don't you join us? We're going to show you how to make some good old-fashioned Play-Doh. We're in the kitchen and we're ready to go. We're going to make this great Play-Doh. We've already put one cup of flour in. The recipe will be on our website. So Olivia's going to start stirring. We're also going to add one cup of salt. Go ahead and add that in there. That's a girl. Perfect. And now start stirring. As Olivia's stirring, I'm going to add some cream of tartar. And the cream of tartar is actually to make it so it has that nice elasticity that we're used to with Play-Doh. And it's one teaspoon. You just keep stirring. You're doing a great job, girl. Okay. You just add that in there as you're going. We're going to um, use one cup of boiling water. This really needs to be supervised by mom. Then you're going to add one tablespoon of um, oil into, just vegetable oil into the water. I'm going to stir this up a little bit. And then Olivia is going to dump in some Kool-Aid. It's the unsweetened kind. And this is going to give the Play-Doh a little scent and also a beautiful color. So go ahead and dump that in there for me, Olivia. That's a girl. Make sure we get it all in there. You want to tap the package. Perfect. Okay, and you can stir that very gently. Oh yeah, it's looking great. Okay, and now let's go ahead and carefully, you're going to start stirring and I'm going to pour in the water. And just be careful too because this is hot, we don't want it to splatter up. Let's stir that in. This takes a lot of muscles, so this is a good place for some good old fashioned teamwork, huh Olivia? Yeah. Okay, and she's going to just keep stirring. So we'll get stuff you're going to I know. And what's this? What did you tell me this looked like? Uh, pancakes. Yeah, pancakes. So we're making some red pancakes. So do you want me to take over from here and help you out? Or here, I know. This yeah. is how, this is how we'll do it. Oh, <laughs> I know. Isn't that so fun? Okay, now we're getting ready to finish up our Play-Doh. And you can see Olivia here is kneading the Play-Doh. She's doing an excellent job using the uh, heels of her, her hands and mixing the color in. You're doing great. And what we're going to do, because we're just having a little fun and we called it Play-Doh jam earlier, we're actually going to can it in freezer jamming jam jars like this. So I think, are we about ready, Olivia, to start doing our jam canning? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to move this out of my way. And go ahead and start filling up your jars and I'm going to fill mine up. We've made some different colors for you ahead of time and then we're going to um, put some really fun lids on in a minute. You keep filling yours up. You're doing great Olivia. Yep. Oh it smells so good too doesn't it with the, the smell from the cherry? Yeah. Mm. Now what I've done I've also made these really cute little um, canning labels for you and I'm going to show those to you in just a minute. You think you have enough in there? Yeah, okay. not really yet. Not really? Okay. Well, you just get a little bit more in there and you tell me when we're ready. Okay. Yeah, you're doing great. Okay, now we're going to have really a lot of fun, huh, Olivia? Because we've I've named some really fun name of this jam for you, huh? And what I have actually done, I've already, you'll get the little PDF off of our website with all these cute little images that match the name of the jams and their labels. And just cut them out, add a little glue stick and attach them to the, the tops of the lids. And then, like I said, we have little labels. And the one Olivia's going to do is the Red Robin Cherry Jam Play-Doh from the Kitchen of... Olivia and she's going to go ahead and write that. While Olivia is writing that I'm going to go ahead and get out some uh, packing tape and I'm actually going to just take the packing tape and put it right over the top of this when she's finished and wrap it around the jar. Very good. Thank you Olivia. So let's just turn this out so we can see how great you did. We're going to put your finger there so that doesn't take off on me. That's a girl. 
We're just going to put it right across like that. I'm going to cut it out and wrap it around the jar. Now we're going to start start canning our um, our Play-Doh jam. All right, Olivia. So we've already got our label on, right? And you've signed from the kitchen of. And we're going to demonstrate. I just cut different colors of fabric out to match the colors of our jam. And we're going to put this on top. Five inch square pinking shear around the edge. And we are using, what are we using? Do you know uh, what these are? A girl, uh, little girl's rubber bands. Yeah, just little hair rubber bands. Perfect. That is so cute. You can see how that works. And we've already done a couple of our other ones. We've already packaged. And this is really fun. Olivia has a darling little kitchen, so she can have her little jam jars all lined up. But when she's ready to play, you've got Play-Doh ready to go. Olivia, you are wonderful today. We had so much fun. Thank you for doing this with me. When creativity knocks, open up the door. <laughs> Thanks, Olivia.